Sensitivity. It is not an essential validation parameter, but let's look how it can be useful to us. Although sensitivity is often related to the detection capability of the method, we will remain to the URACM and IOPAC definition of sensitivity and look at it as the gradient of the calibration graph. On a calibration graph, we can find the sensitivity according to its definition, where we find the change in the signal, which corresponds to the change in the analyte concentration. And we can express it as the slope of the calibration graph. We can also see the value of sensitivity from the calibration function. And we can see that the higher is the change in signal, corresponding to the same change in the analyte concentration, the more sensitive the method is. The numerical value and unit of sensitivity are arbitrary and depend on the instrument and its settings. It also depends on the analyte and matrix we are analyzing. Sensitivity can be useful during method optimization, where it can give us feedback about the changes made in the method. It can also be used in quality assurance procedures or just routine monitoring of the instrument performance. Continuous monitoring of sensitivity can be especially useful for LCMS analysis, where the sensitivity can vary between days. It is important because during validation, sensitivity can be used to estimate other validation parameters. For example, the ionization suppression caused by co-eluding matrix components results in decreased sensitivity. And therefore, we can use sensitivity to calculate matrix effect using calibration graph method. Or we can use the sensitivity when calculating limit of detection and limit of quantitation. These two topics will be covered more comprehensively in respective sections of this course. And this was the overview of sensitivity during method validation.